So, you wish to learn how to build a website that represents your business without touching a single line of code? If that's the case, you came to the right place. I'm Vaidatas, and in this video, I'll be covering all the core steps to get your business website up and running in no time. First, you need a web host to store your website's files and data. Using a reliable web hosting provider is essential for a successful website. It ensures that your website is always up and running and visitors can access it at any time. Since we're using Hostinger services, just go to Hostinger.com. You should find the Website Builder button on the upper corner of the page. As you can see, our all-in-one solution plan already includes a hosting plan and access to the Website Builder. Just click here and select the duration of your plan. I'll go for 12 months. As you can see, a free domain name will be included automatically. Continue by selecting a payment method and entering the billing information to complete the checkout process. Don't forget to apply the coupon code HA10 during the checkout to get a 10% discount. You'll be redirected to hosting a control panel if the payment is successful. Next, you need to set a new password for your account. You can either enter a valid email address or connect to your Facebook or Google account. Ideally, choose a short, unique domain name relevant to your business. Also, to make it more memorable and professional, avoid using numbers and hyphens. We have a complete guide on how to choose the perfect domain name, so make sure to check that one out. In the previous step, I mentioned that the hosting plan is eligible for a free domain name. Now I'll show you how to claim it. Begin by logging into your hosting account. Then, head to your HPanel dashboard and click the Claim Domain button. This will bring up the Search for Domain window. Type in the desired domain name and extension, then check if it's available. If the domain name is accessible, you'll get the chance to acquire it. Proceed by clicking the highlighted button. Next, specify whether your site will be dedicated for personal or business use in your country of residence. Then provide your contact information and click on finish registration. While waiting for the review process to complete, you can just start creating your website. Click continue and you will be taken to the domain overview page displaying the current status of your domain. It can take up to an hour for the domain to propagate, but it usually just takes a few minutes. After getting your hosting plan and the domain name set up, it's time to start setting up your website. To begin, open the HPanel dashboard. Then scroll down to find the Create or Migrate a Website option. Choose Create a new website. Choose Hosting your Website Builder as your platform of choice. Then specify the domain you want the website to point to. I'm going to use the free domain that we claimed earlier. Wait a minute or two as the completing the setup process will take a few moments. Once you're done with the previous step, you'll be taken to the Website Builder and the Template Library. Here, you will find the numerous designer-made templates based on your category. Scroll through the available options and find the template you like. You can also preview the template to see how it will look once your website is live. For this example, I'm going to pick one of the most popular template options. Once you've found the template you like, just hover over it and click Start Building. You'll be taken to the main Website Builder's Editor window. However, before we start customizing, let's take a quick look at what we have here. The current page on our screen is our website's homepage. All the changes you'll make to the site's design, like fonts and images, will happen within the editor. For example, let's double-click this text and a pop-up box will appear. Here you will have the option to tweak your typeface, font style and color. You can also use your own fonts by uploading them here. There is also a button for duplicating, deleting, and setting font visibility. Anytime you want to add new things such as pages, navigation, or elements, you'll do it from the toolbar to the left. Finally, at the top, you have the menu that lets you change templates and the start guide. There are also four main buttons, undo and redo, as well as save and publish buttons. The best thing about Hostinger's Website Builder is its drag and drop feature. You can move any element to another page's area without a single line of code. That is super useful for first-timers. All right, now let's jump right into editing our site. Let's start with the homepage, as it's the first thing visitors land on when visiting your website. It only takes a moment for a visitor to decide whether to stay or leave a website, so pay attention to this step. Therefore, ensure your homepage is informative and visually appealing to keep your visitors engaged and interested. Before designing your homepage, it's best to structure it first. This will give you a clear idea of what elements to include and where they should be placed. Here are a couple of things to consider when structuring your homepage. 
First, make sure your headlines and visuals convey your business's value. For the subheadline, include specific benefits and features of your products and services on your homepage. Instead of showcasing what you can do, just mention what people will achieve after using your products or services. Next, make it clear what you want your visitors to do next. Usually, this takes the form of a call to action button. Last but not least, add social proof to showcase previous successes and highlight customer feedback. This can be done by showcasing customer testimonials, case studies, customer logos, press mentions, awards, and so on. All of Hostinger Website Builder templates come with a standard homepage similar to this one. You can easily customize it or create a new one to suit your needs. To do this, simply click on Pages and Navigation in the upper left corner. From there, you can choose the page you want to be your homepage. Click the gear icon, then select Make Homepage. Now we will continue to set up other essential pages for the site. As you can see, this template already provides some pre-built pages. For this site, I will use three main pages, About Us, Products and Services, and Contact Us. Head over to the left toolbar and click on Page and Navigation. I'll start by deleting all the pages I won't use by clicking the Delete button. We're missing the product page, so to add one, navigate to the bottom and click Add Page. This will open up the Page Settings window. Simply name the page and click the toggle button to decide whether to show it in the navigation bar. Now that all the pages are present, let's start customizing each one. Since the current template already contains the About Us page, you only need to tweak it a little bit. A typical About Us page should begin with an introduction to your business. This can include any relevant information such as the company's mission and vision statement, founding story, or a description to the products and or services provided. Next, introduce key personnel and their roles within your business. This should include founders, executive team members, or employees you wish to give the spotlight to. You can also write a short bio for each individual on your page to give it a personal touch. Create a page for each of your products or services with a brief description, images, and links to external sites. You can create a menu or navigation bar to make the product and service pages easier to find. This will allow visitors to quickly find the page you're looking for. You should also include a search bar so that customers can quickly find specific products. Finally, don't forget to add a shopping cart to your website. This is important if you're selling several different products or services, as it will allow customers to purchase multiple items at once. Lastly, we're going to customize the Contact Us page. This is where potential customers can reach out to you if they are interested in your product. Add a social media icon to make it easier for people to find your business on social media sites. The first thing you need to do is click on the Elements button on the left toolbar. Then, choose the social media element and drag it to your web page like so. Now let's change its style and color. Just hit the Edit Social Icons button right here. You can also adjust the spacing and layout of these icons, but I'll just go with the horizontal placement for now. Next, you'll need to set up our business social links. Simply click Links, and you can remove the ones you find unnecessary. Then, simply provide the links to your social media profiles as the icons will be generated automatically. For example, if you want to add a LinkedIn profile, just insert the link here and the icon will be displayed automatically. Likewise, if you wish to add an email icon, simply paste your email address. Let's move on to the contact form. As you can see, this template already provides this option. In my case, I wish to add a new one, so I select the Elements option again, and this time choose Contact Form. I'm going to use the existing one. Let's start by editing some of these fields. I want to change the title of this field, so select the Edit Form button and go to Field to change the title of this piece right here. You can also change the placeholder title. To add a new field, click on Add New Form Field, choose the type of field you want to add, and edit it as needed. To get notified of form submissions, enter the email address associated with your Hostinger account. All your forms can be viewed and managed here. Just click it and it will open up the website settings. Select View List and you'll see a list of all submitted contact forms. Your website's navigation should be intuitive to drive traffic to the right pages and create an effective user experience. Let's start by customizing the website's header and footer to ensure an intuitive browsing experience for our visitors. First off, click on the header. This will bring up relevant options available. Click on Layout. Here you can play with the alignment and spacing. 
we'll position it to the right, so just click here. You can also resize the header by adjusting the padding settings. Since there are not many elements on this one, I'll set it to 37 pixels. You can click Edit Navigation to manage menu options, which will open up the Pages and Navigation menu on the left panel. Here you can start reordering the elements of the pages. If you wish to add online store functionality to the site, you can add a shopping bag icon and adjust its text and size. To customize the header further, you can change its background color or make it transparent. I'm sticking with the transparent option, but you can choose other font styles for your header or set a color when visitors hover over it. Now I'm going to change the footer design. Since the footer appears at the bottom of every website page, we can use it to display the information we want to be visible at all times, such as our business number, copyright information, or social media links. Now I'm not going to do much to the footer since it already contains all the essential information I need. I will move the contact us to the left and change the font size to 18 to make it more visible. You can choose another design for your footer. To do this, delete the last one and create a new section. Then, from the menu on the left, select footer and choose any template you like. Now you can decide whether to show the footer only on the current page or the entire website. Oh, and don't worry, as the footer can still be hidden on other pages. For example, I don't want it to appear on my About Us page. Just scroll down to the footer, click this button and select Hide on this page. To elevate your website's look and feel, you can add visual elements like photos or videos relevant to your business. For example, I will add some images and videos to my products page. Create a blank section here like so. Go to the left, drag the image element and drop it into the section. To edit an image, click this button. This will open up the panel where customization options are available. First, it lets you replace it with another image from the media library. For example, I'm just going with this one, or if you want, just upload an image from your computer. You can even set the alt text for the image for better accessibility, potentially improving your website's SEO rankings. With the style function, you can restore the original image proportions or set rounded corners on the image. Finally, you can choose what happens when someone clicks on the image. Either it will remain as a static image, open up in a full screen, or it will redirect visitors to specific sites or your pages. Let's make the page more dynamic by adding a video. To do this, drag the video icon from the Elements panel. Our video elements currently support YouTube and Vimeo videos. So, I will add one of our YouTube tutorials here. I'll just paste the URL, which should appear on the page. You also can enable other functions like autoplay, loop, and show video controls. The next visual element we will customize is the logo. It's very easy to do. First, let's return to the home page. At the header settings, you can see the logo option. Click on it, replace it with your business logo, and adjust the width and position. To generate a custom logo, use our logo maker or the AI generator to generate one quickly. Once you're satisfied with the website design and customization, you can finally launch your website. Before launching the website, ensure all elements are displaying correctly on the mobile version and not interfering with the copy. Just click on the mobile icon on the top menu to do this. If you find any issues, you can readjust the elements and reposition them using the toolbar. Don't worry, all changes you make in the mobile editor will not affect the desktop version. For example, everything stays the same when I revert to my desktop version. After that, just hit the publish button at the top right corner. Wait a few seconds and your website is finally available for the world to see. Congratulations, you now know how to make a website for your business. And the best part is that you didn't even need any coding experience to finish building one. Now that you have all the tools and knowledge you need to create an awesome website, the only thing left to do is let people know all about it. Feel free to comment if you have any questions or want to share your experience building your website. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Hostinger Academy to get more website development tutorials like this one. Good luck with your online journey, and I'll see you in the next video.